Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode 9. Cut off any and all ass. Shut, 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 shut. Cut that BS out. Hello, hola, bonjour, et to say, my name is Electra, and you're watching the What I Needed to Hear series, <laughs> episode nine. Whoa! Season one is almost done, guys. Nine? Okay, move. Okay, I'm lit, I'm lit, I'm lit. So, as you can see by the title, How to Raise Your Frequency. Okay, opera. <laughs> Clearly, we gonna be talking about raising your frequency hello everything i'm about to share with you is definitely something i wish i heard sooner you feel me these habits that i'm going to share with you are things that i've actually implemented in my real life and i've actually felt a shift in my vibrational state if y'all don't know what that is y'all definitely don't know abraham hicks okay okay before we get into the video i'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button <laughs> like right now what are you waiting for Hit it, good. Now let's get on to the video. Mm. So the first tip that I have for you to raise your frequency today is to cut off any and all energy vampires. Okay, listen, the energy vampires come in many different forms. An energy vampire is something that sucks the life out of you, no pun intended. <laughs> We all know that friend or that former friend <clears throat> that whenever we talk to them, whenever we hang out with them, whenever we're just sharing energy with them, we leave feeling super drained or we leave feeling super doubtful of ourselves, our career, our goals, whatever, or we leave just feeling lower vibrational than what we met them with. You feel me? It is not healthy to be around people that make you doubt yourself, that make you feel unvaluable, that make you feel like you have low confidence, that make you feel any negative emotions. It just don't make no sense. Like, I don't know. Why would you chill with somebody that you don't like chilling with? Why would you chill with someone that makes you feel like you can't achieve your goals? They may seem good on paper and y'all may have a good time, whatever. My bad. <laughs> but if every single time you notice a pattern, when you leave them, when you end the FaceTime, end the phone call, whatever the case is, you physically feel drained. You physically feel tired. You physically feel like, listen, I can't live anymore for today. I need to go to sleep. Then you really need to reevaluate who you're chilling with. You feel me? But listen, energy vampires do not only come in the form of humans. All right, I'ma also need y'all to cut off any social media accounts or social media apps that are no good for your mental health. You feel me? For example, I'm not gonna name any apps, but there are a lot of accounts on IG, TikTok, you name it, there's gonna be a couple hundred, right? And they just either spread negative information. Every single video they post, it's a fighting video. Every video they post, somebody's getting hurt, somebody's getting killed, somebody's getting stabbed, somebody's getting blah, 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 blah. Listen, when I open my TikTokery. Okay, I don't have time to be seeing BS. I don't have time to be seeing things gonna make me feel like I need to cry or make me feel like there are things in the world that I just cannot change. All right, if you spend your time constantly scrolling through hate pages, negative pages, even the fucking news, then you're going to literally feel tired, drained, like we live in such a negative and scary world. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the world can be negative and the world can be scary, but you do not need to wash your mind in negativity all the time every time you're on social media. All right, and that goes for Twitter. That is why I deleted my Twitter account because why every time I open Twitter, I'm seeing some put I'm seeing some something that I can't really talk about on this website here. <laughs> I'm seeing some fight videos, a whole lot of videos that are very negative that I have no control over. And it makes me feel weird, it makes me feel drained, it makes me feel tired, and it makes me feel restless because I can't really do anything to fix the problems at hand. You know what I mean? So cut that BS out. And when it comes to the news, I know it is very important for a lot of people to know what's going on in the world. But listen, you do not need to be sitting down watching eight hours of news daily. You do not need to be sitting down in the car, driving to work for an hour, listening to the news, 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 news. Cause what does the news really tell you? BS. At least 2% of the news is good news and everything else is all the negative stuff that's happening in the world. Mentally, I can't take it. I'm sorry for getting rowdy. But listen, it's just a lot, you know? It's okay, tune in, check the weather, see what's going on, and then tune out. Do not let negativity be the forefront of your brain. Do not let all these negative things, these negative posts, negative people brainwash you into being a lesser version of you. All right, all right, you got this. Oh, and also a uh, quick little thing I might add, when it comes to the drugs and the alcohol, listen, I'm not saying don't take that shot when it's shot a clock. <laughs> Cause this summer I know I am, hold up. <laughs> shot, 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 shot
<laughs> okay, let me jump, let me jump. If you know you got some drinking problems, if you know that when you start drinking, you can't stop, if you know that every time you drink, you end up having a bad two days or whatever the case is, maybe you should decrease that or maybe you should just cut it out. There are certain things we need to stay away from and other things that we can have in moderation. You use your discernment to figure out what you need and don't need in your life. You feel me? Okay, on to point number two. I'ma need y'all to make sure that your environment reflects everything you love. Now, let me tell you why this is important because before I renovated my room for like the third time, <laughs> it was just blank walls. My Maddie was on the floor. It was nothing inspiring or high vibey about my room. And it was to the point where I didn't even wanna sleep in here. I was choosing to sleep on the couch in the living room. Feel me? But as soon as I started like, for example, you don't have to do this, but this is just what I do. As soon as I started writing my affirmations on a mirror, putting my vision board up on the wall, putting my goals up on my window, putting some plants up in here, feel me? Diffuser. You see that new addition? You see that? Feel me? Hey, hey, kidding. Hey. I put my vines up or whatever, I got my little recording space here or whatever, and I just feel inspired. And this is especially for people who work for home. Now that I've renovated my room and I added my touches, da da da, -da room's still not done, but <laughs> now that I've added my touches, I feel inspired being in here. I feel creative being in here. I feel like, damn, I actually wanna sleep in my room. <laughs> I actually wanna be here and I feel good being in here. And you know what? It doesn't have to just be your room. Like if you spend more time at your cubicle, uh, in your car, wherever, wherever you spend the most time, make sure it's, clean and reflects everything that you love so you can feel good when you're in that space you feel me because that gonna make a difference okay okay i feel like that point was match short but but like there's nothing really much to say like wherever you stay work home car wherever you be at make sure that it feels good for you to be in it make sure that when you step into it you feel like <gasps> I love being here. All right, because love is the highest vibration you could feel, baby. And if you are vibrating on the frequency of love, then you're gonna feel good, that's it. Like, <laughs> on to point number three. Now I'm gonna need y'all to listen up. All right, this is definitely the most important point. Even if I make a part two, three, four, five of this video, this will always be the most important point. All right, are y'all ready? Point number three, be grateful. All right, now that is the most important thing you could do, okay? If you're not gonna upgrade your environment or make your environment feel like home or make your environment feel inspiring to you, if you are not gonna cut off those negative Nancys in your life and if you're not gonna stop watching the news, then you need to. You need to make sure you are being grateful. Every morning you wake up, Thank you to God, your higher self, your angels, goddesses. I don't care. I don't even care if you're atheist. Be grateful that you woke up, that you could breathe. Hopefully you could see. Be grateful for literally everything. Because what I've noticed in my life, I feel like I have a lot of energy today. What I've noticed in my life is that the more grateful I am for things, the more things I have to be grateful. And the more grateful I was for where I was at, the faster it became for me to get to where I want to be. You feel me? Do you get it? Listen, I don't care if you live in a damn near box. Be grateful you have that motherfucking box. Feel me? I don't care if you have a dollar in your bank account. Be grateful it's not zero dollar. Okay? I don't care what is going on in your life. I don't care how bad your life is in shambles. There is always something to be grateful for. You feel me? Like, you can be grateful that you're breathing. You can be grateful that you have a mic. You can be grateful that you have a phone. They have Wi-Fi. They have data. They have friends. They have a mother. That you have skin. I don't know. Whatever you have, be grateful for it. Because guess what? What if you woke up tomorrow and you only had the things you were grateful for today what would you have think about it anyways that is pretty much all i have for you today i'm probably definitely gonna be making a part two to this because there is just so many things you could do to raise your vibration to raise your frequency you feel me hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something new and hopefully you remember to how am i telling you to remember something that i forgot Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below which method you're going to use to raise your frequency today. All right, as I said, as you know, my name is Electra. This has been the Wind Series, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.